Sure thing. Do you want to have it standing here, or do you want to find a seat first? All right. Now, on to the drinks. Do you want to have mead, wine, or just plain milk? Ah, okay then. I don't think you have some milk on you, though. Here, I'll help you out. Likewise. I don't even know what to say. Earlier, I just saw you talk to a dragon. Not only in words, but through literally breathing out fire. And you seem so... relaxed with it. It's almost as if you knew what to expect somehow. At least, now though, you have this cool and nifty shout. Not the Dragon Wren one, but it's still something. Just don't use that thing when I'm nearby, okay? Fire and I don't necessarily get along. Hmm... Honestly, I thought about using illusion magic to make me seem more... alive. I just want people to see me as more of an... a missable human, not a daughter of Cold Harbor. At least I don't have to worry about that around you. You accept me for who I am, and for that, I am grateful. So, what do you want to talk about now? You've been in Riften for quite some time now, Lady Mule. I fear that you soon may leave us. Riften has problems of its own. Now is not the time for exploration and discovery. I'm relieved well, you say that. there's not much to go on, at least from what I've read. We've had some interactions with them, but... That isn't it much either. To all of Skyrim for me to I heard start. great tales of the Dragon Guard back in my day. That organization later rose to prominence to be known as the Blades, being recognized for extraordinary feats all the way up until the Oblivion Crisis. However, seeing where they are now, scurrying away from the Thalmor like rats, it is rather sad, really. All right. So, what do you want to talk about now? Which one? My mother had to leave the island for some urgent business one day, so I snuck into her laboratory. You know, to create some potions, test out some necromancy, fiddle around with things I really wasn't supposed to. But one thing did catch my eye. That brandy. I didn't really consider why she even had it there. I just decided to take a small sip. It truly tasted like something else. So I decided to finish the entire bottle in one swig. I absolutely loved it. I was already a vampire at this point, though, so don't worry. I didn't pass out vomit or anything like that. But when my mother did come home, though, she was angry, most definitely. She said it costed a premium, and that it was meant to be a token gift to one of the newer members of my father's court. And as a punishment, I got janitorial duties around the castle for the better part of the month. And even as a vampire, to me, that felt like a long time. Ah, uh, it's nice, spending time like this, just having drinks together. Alright, now on to the drinks. Do you want to have mead, wine, or just plain milk? Oh, I see. Now, let's see what I have here. I procured these in Riften, the last time I was there. First, we have the Cliff Racer. Firebrand wine, Cyrodiilic brandy, Flynn and Sujama. A drink for the daring. 
Next up, we have some Dragon's Breath Mead. A drink worthy of someone as fiery as you are. Oh, then, there's the right Velvet now. La Chance, which is a mixture of blackberry, honey, spiced wine, and a touch of nightshade. Perfectly safe, in moderate amounts. Ever more venomous. Likewise. Remember the Civil War? The one that you got yourself involved in? Waking up to this whole mess was truly something I did not expect. I expected a change in who was the High King, but I didn't know that things... they were more complicated. Cyrodiil being the seat of an empire, for one. And besides this whole civil contention for Skyrim's land, we have Altmer nationalists eyeing to conquer it as well. Our adventuring has been getting more tiring lately. It's as if the world is responding to your growing power. As you get stronger, enemies get stronger. Which is why stress relief is all the more important. I know you want it. Just ask, and this girl is all yours. <laughs> so, what do you say? Up for a little combat training later? I know. Hmm. They used to call Windhelm the City of Kings. In my books, anyway. Going there and seeing it for myself, though, I'm kind of disappointed. I had expected it to be... bigger. Hmm. I was just remembering the castle courtyard. Back before when things were better between us. Between my mother and I. We'd tend to her garden back there. It was really nice, you know? It was cared for by an alchemical master and nurtured for hundreds of years. Which makes it all the more sad that the garden will never look the same. So, what do you want to talk about now? If I know my history right, every great empire has its rise and its fall. We've had the Alessian Empire, Remens, the Septums, and now the Medes, all of which have risen to great prominence, but eventually fell due to a variety of reasons, whether it be inner strife, turmoil, or the rise of another great power like the Dominion. And as this old Mary Dominion rises, it's inevitable that they will fall, as for when, only history will tell. No mortal empire lasts forever. That's just always been the case, really. Ah, uh, it's nice, spending time like this, just having drinks together. Alright, now on to the drinks. Do you want to have mead, wine, or just plain milk? Oh, do tell. Ah, a classic. Likewise. Remember the Civil War? The one that you got yourself involved in? Waking up to this whole mess was truly something I did not expect. I expected a change in who was the High King, but I didn't know that things... they were more complicated. Cyrodiil being the seat of an empire, for one. And besides this whole civil contention for Skyrim's land, we have Altmer nationalists eyeing to conquer it as well.
Well, this is more of a unique and intimate journey in bed. I was just thinking about the last time we, you know, did it. Besides how powerful you are in combat, you truly are something else in bed. How you manage to have that much stamina and vigor. I don't know, but it keeps me wanting for more. What do you say? Let's go to bed later? I know. Hmm. You know, life could always be better. Fewer people out to get me. Skies without dragons. Skyrim's weather. <sighs> oh well, won't even get started on that one. But I'm still grateful for two things in my life. Good books and good wine. Well, all right, maybe three things. Good books, wine, and you. So, what do you want to talk about now? I do believe that we can. I've read a similar concept before. It was in the new type theory proposed by a Dwemer philosopher long ago. He said that if men and myrrh alike cast aside the shackles of what has binded them to selfish squabbles and struggles to power, they could mentally evolve, in a sense, to be higher beings, new types, people who can more easily detect the thoughts and intentions of others and are more amissible to understanding. I would like to remember the name of the book, or the author, but I'm afraid it's been lost to time. Ah, uh, it's nice, spending time like this, just having drinks together. Alright, now on to the drinks. Do you want to have mead, wine, or just plain milk? Okay, then. Likewise. Blackreach truly was amazing, wasn't it? An entire underground ecosystem. I don't think there's anything else like it in Tamriel. I knew about it, back in the day. But just seeing it for myself was truly something else. If I could choose, I'd definitely live with the vampires over there, rather than back on Castle Volkihar. Hmm... It still feels kind of weird, waking up after thousands of years, even at this point. Just thinking about an empire in Cyrodiil. I definitely thought what everything happened? would end with the Remens. So, what do you want to talk about now? Oh, which one? She's loyal, I can tell you that much. But maybe... I feel she could brighten up a little. With her, it seems like everything is based off of duty. It's like she's never had fun in her life. Ah, uh, it's nice spending time like this, just having drinks together. <laughs> <laughs> 